There was a time in the NBA where height wasn't just a good thing to have. It was considered vital to being an absolutely great player. So much so that it was believed that if you weren't close to 7 foot tall, you wouldn't make it in the league. Obviously, that statement didn't really prove accurate, but that hasn't stopped a whole legion of tall players from coming into the league in one form or another. Allow us to show you 8 of the tallest players in NBA history. Number 7. Boban Marjanovic, 7 feet 4 inches Boban Marjanovic is indeed one of the tallest players ever, and in fact is someone who plays right now on the Dallas Mavericks, which means he's playing alongside Luka Doncic, who's going to be a legend in the league no doubt. In terms of playing skill, he's mainly a bench player and a role player, and has been that way for most of his NBA career. He was a bit better in Europe because of the somewhat lax rules that they have to handle defense, but in the NBA he's a bit more restricted. That being said, his PER, or player efficiency rating, is honestly one of the highest in the history of the NBA, meaning that every time he goes into the game, you can expect him to do something big. Speaking of big, he's so big that he dwarfs Anthony Davis and even teased him once by holding up the ball so high that he couldn't reach it. Number 6. Sim Bilar, 7 feet 5 inches Not all tall players have the skill necessary to succeed in the NBA, and Sim Bilar was a great example of that. He was 7 feet 5 inches and came from Canada, and the first player of Indian descent to make it into the NBA, a crowning achievement that we're sure he appreciated. He played for New Mexico State and went underdrafted after declaring for the NBA. The owner of the Kings, however, was also of Indian descent and brought him into the franchise via their summer league program. He did well enough to earn a 10-day contract for the Kings, but he only played in three games and amassed a total of three minutes. Which again shows that while you might have the size to play in the NBA, that doesn't mean you're going to be good. Number 5. Pavel Podkolzin, 7 feet 5 inches Pavel Podkolzin was a big man who had a lot of potential, but didn't exactly get to show off that talent in the NBA. His career started off in Russia, and then he moved to Italy to play more basketball before declaring for the NBA draft all the way back in 2004. He was picked by the Utah Jazz as the 21st pick, but he was then traded that night to the Mavericks. He played only a handful of games for about 20 minutes total and 4 points. Yet his career technically didn't end there, because while he did fall out of the NBA, he did end up going back overseas and being a big attraction there, again showing that the rules of the different leagues do indeed show off how good a player is allowed to be. Number 4. Chuck Nevitt 7 feet 5 inches Unlike Pavel and Sim, Chuck Nevitt did make his own impact on the NBA. While he definitely wasn't the biggest man ever, he did have a 9-year career where he played on multiple teams. True, he was a bench player who only averaged a handful of minutes a season, but he did help out, and his personality made him a big hit with not just his teammates, but the fans as well. Just as important though, he was on the 1985 Lakers team that won the title, so he is the biggest man to ever wear a ring, currently. Number 3. Sean Bradley 7 feet 6 inches Sean Bradley was 7 feet 6 inches, and he made people feel that height on the court when he played, which is a compliment for the record. He played for multiple teams, but like certain others on this list, he too ended up on the Mavericks and made a big splash there. What really set him apart though was his incredible shot blocking ability. He averaged over 2 blocks a game for a whole season. There are various tall men today who don't do that, further showing his talents on the court. Also, do you remember a little film called Space Jam? Yeah, Bradley was in that and was the talent that gave the Blue Aliens his massive height. See, he made an impact. Number 2. Yao Ming, 7 feet 6 inches In truth, the big man up to now only had certain impacts on the NBA, both on the court and off. But for Yao Ming, he's easily one of the most recognizable players in NBA history, helped change the game in many ways, and is easily the best player on this list. Yao hails from China and was so popular there that he was given multiple honors for his role in promoting the country, via his skills, including having a key role in the opening ceremonies of the 2008 Beijing Olympics. And just to remind you, he was dominant on the court, making a big splash with the Houston Rockets, whom he played with his whole career. Now yes, he was injury prone, but his stats don't lie, and he fought back in his own way by becoming an ambassador to the game and he was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2016. So yeah, Yao proved his worth time and time again. Number 1. Manute Bull, 
7 feet 7 inches. We won't deny that Yao Ming is the most famous big man in NBA history currently, but before him, there was one man who literally stood out in the crowd because he was 7 foot 7 inches. His name was Manut Bol. Some will note that he's technically not the biggest man ever. The true number one is half an inch taller. But given his impact on the court and off, we feel it's best to honor Bol at number one, and you'll see why in a second. Manute Bol was a guy that wowed the NBA and the world as a whole because of his length and frame. Plus, while he did have injuries, they weren't as massive and frequent as players like Yao, and thus he had a long 10-year career that led to many wonderful moments and lots of pictures of him and his height. Manute remains one of the greatest shot blockers to ever play the game, even ending his 10-year career with more blocks than points. But arguably, just as important as his loyalty to his home of South Sudan, he would take his NBA money and send it home to help those there. He was even an ambassador and advocate to try and get help for his home country to make it a better place. That sounds like number one worthy, don't you think? So there you have it, everyone. A look at eight of the tallest men to ever grace the court of basketball. Are you surprised by some of the names on this list? Were you shocked that despite some of these players' incredible height, that they weren't able to go and make bigger impacts in the NBA? Who do you think will be the newest tallest player to be on this list one day? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.